number 7 then from the 2007 advanced higher using the Euclidean algorithm. Here's a Diophantine equation, even though it doesn't mention it, and you have to find integers p and q which satisfy it. Well, first part will be go through the Euclidean algorithm to find the greatest common divisor. So that's just that division algorithm. How many 53s are in 599? So you put that part in and that would be 11 of them because it's more than 10. 11 of them and that would leave 16. 11 times it is, remember you add the digits into the for 11 times it, would be 583 plus 16. And then you start with these two, not the 11, it's the 53 and the remainder that hold the key to the greatest common divisor. Another number of times it went in there. So I start again with 53. So how many 16s would make that 53? By 3 times it. 3 times it's 48. So that would leave 5. Same again. Now it's the 16 and the 5 I'm interested in. They hold the key to the greatest common divisor. Well, that's going to be 3 lots of it with just one left over. And then finally I could write, again these two, 5 is equal to 5 times 1 plus 0. Which means the greatest common divisor is just 1. Those numbers were in fact co-prime. That's the notation for the greatest common divisor, and that equals 1. Now retrace your steps here. So I'm going to start with my answer 1 and work backwards. So I'm going to have these three lines here. So 1 was equal to 16 take away 3 times 5. So that will be 16 take away now jumping up to 5, whatever 5 produced, that will be 53 minus 3 times 16. So how many 16s have I got here then? I've got one of them here, take away 3 times negative 3 is plus another 9. So I've got 10 lots of 16, I'll just use the dot notation, minus 3 lots of 53. Now I can go up to 16 and replace that. So I've got 10 times whatever 16 can come from. That was my original 599. Take away 11 lots of 53 minus the 3 lots of 53. So that will be 10 times 599 minus 110 and another 3 minus 113 lots of 53. So this then should equal 1. And of course that's what you would check in your calculator. Does that take away that, give you one, and it does. So that means you haven't made a mistake anywhere. So I can go back to this equation, just write this out the way it is. The original equation was 599 times something, 599 times 10, plus 53 times something, so it must be 53 times negative 113, and that does in fact make one. So the solution they were looking for was P was the 10, and Q was a negative one, one, three. There we are.